what to do when oil prices are high and supply is tight, you drill. There's definitely a lot of opportunity right now in all energy. 50 miles north of Oklahoma City in Noble County, drilling pipe is making a trip out of this future well, coming up from about a mile down. We're going to then pick up this string of casing, a one joint at a time, run it into the hole and cement it. The well then curves, moves horizontally, running a mile to the north. The job of a floor hand also known as a roughneck, is about muscling 30-foot sections of pipe and getting sprayed with drilling mud. But you're looking at money. This well is going to cost over $3 million to drill and complete and put on production. Now that the prices are up, we're able to afford to drill this. Across the oil patch, it's the smaller independent companies like Joe Brevetti's Charter Oak that are driving production. So far, Big Oil is holding back, not wanting to spend the money. The small companies can act quicker. We're generally not beholden to private equity funders. Uh, we don't have public stockholders. Demand and prices picked up as the pandemic eased, and people started going places again, filling up. The war in Ukraine and sanctions on Russian oil are driving up prices even more. So pump it if you've got it but it's not that easy. You get the geology, the seismic, the leasehold, the surface location. So it's been an over a year long process to get to the point where we're drilling. The minerals that we have leased are all under this, this section. Bob and Rita Park own the rights to those minerals and will get royalties. We're both retired. For us, it probably won't make a lot of difference in our lives, but we have a daughter and hopefully future grandchildren, it, it would make a big difference for them. Royalties also make a difference in the nearby city of Perry, Oklahoma. Population about 5,000. It's used the revenue for special projects, like a spruce up of City Hall, but it does not count on this money. It's hard to predict. Um, not only does the change in the price um, of oil and natural gas affect us, but also the amount of production that is actually coming out of the wells. In Oklahoma, the imprint of energy is everywhere, from the Oklahoma City skyline and an energy company's glass tower to a pump jack next to a retirement home and another near an indoor skydiving center. This billboard at the airport is selling blade bits to cut rock. Derricks even loom in the shadow of the state capitol. But the economy here is anything but sure. Well, it is a boom and bust. I mean, the oil markets, are, it's a commodity, so it's going to have some ups and downs. Just look at the price of oil over the past 24 years. Is it possible we're seeing the birth of another boom? When the price of oil is $120 a barrel, that's a boom. The irony here is it's also making things more expensive for the very people extracting the now expensive thing. Diesel, uh, steel, our cost of casing has more than doubled, it's almost tripled. And finding workers is hard, like every place else. All of that has increased our costs, but you know, we, we see that there's upside. We really want to be able to go out and drill. We, we you know, don't, we don't like that the U.S. has to go to other countries. We want to be energy independent.